Hello and welcome back to another HitFilm tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create some like and subscribe graphics completely inside of HitFilm Express for free. Like and subscribe graphics tend to mimic the style of your channel. So in this tutorial I'm just going to be breaking down some of the basic techniques that you will use for most like and subscribe graphics. Or motion graphics in general. So what I'm going to do first is create a new composite shot. I'm then going to set it to 5 seconds, that's just because I personally quite like having them at 5 seconds because they don't stay on the screen for far too long, but they're also on there long enough for you to be able to see what it is. I'm also going to leave all the other settings the same, then hit OK. Quite a lot of these graphics will require other images, so if you create them yourself using Photoshop or GIMP, then that's fine, or if you just want to grab them off Google, just make sure that you're using ones that you're allowed to use, but that's also fine. But you could also create them inside of HitFilm, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to create a new layer, I'm going to set it to 1920 by 1080 and I'm going to set its colour to white. Then hit OK. OK, and now we have a plane. This is going to be the actual like background for my subscribe. So I'm now going to grab a fill colour effect. Drag and drop this onto the plane. And this fill colour effect allows you to change the colour of the plane or the footage. You also have a blend amount property which is quite useful if you wanted something in between the original colour of the plane and also the colour chosen. This effect is really useful if you are trying to create graphics because it's quite bright and easy to use. And you can choose any colour. So I'm wanting to have my background for the subscribe graphic being red, so I'm just going to choose a nice red colour, I want it to be quite a dark red, kind of like Netflix red. Then I'm going to create a new text layer, and this is where I'm going to type subscribe. Then I'm going to highlight the text, go over to the text controls, scale up the text, something around 100 looks okay, and change the font. So I just want to have the text fully centred in the frame. So I'm going to go over to the Layout tab, and in the Align to options, I'm going to select Align Vertical Middle. And this has now centered the text. This hasn't centered the anchor point, but it has just centered the entire shape. So now I'm going to shrink the plane down to fit around this. So now we have something that looks like a subscribe button. If you wanted to add a rounded mask, then you can do. But I don't really want to. Okay, so now we have got this subscribe button, I want to make it look a bit more interesting. I'm going to grab a drop shadow effect, and drag and drop this onto the text. And that looks pretty cool already. It's making it slightly more interesting than it just being white and red. Of course, this is all personal preference, and if you would rather have it just being white and red, or white and whatever colour, or black and whatever colour, or just generally whatever you really want it to be, do it. Do it. So I'm now just going to play around with some of these settings. So what I did was I just applied two drop shadows. The first one is just a solid colour, as you can see, straight down, with a 64 opacity. And then the second drop shadow is just to almost create more of a darker outline outline around the subscribe text that almost makes it stand out even more. So I'm going to go halfway into this composite shot. This is where I want to have the change from it just saying subscribe to it saying subscribed. So I'm now going to get the slice tool and I'm going to cut the text into two. I'm now going to rename the first lot of text and then I'm going to call the other side subscribed. Okay so now all I'm going to do is create subscribes. As you can see, we now go from subscribe to subscribed. I also want something else to happen rather than it just being a change. So I might add in some scale keyframes and make it a bit more interesting. While you could just scale each side of this graphic, so you scale up the subscribe, you scale the subscribed, and then you try and make it match in the middle, what might be a better idea is to use a point layer. This point layer can contain several different properties in the transform. So if we now parent this, 
the subscribe text and the subscribe text to this new point, you can see that it moves with the point. And if I scale it up, then it scales it up for both. I want to have the text being quite springy, and I'm also going to be parenting the plane to the new point. So I want it to be at its largest scale in the middle. So if we just start scale and set this to 150, then move it back by a couple of frames, and set this to 100, you now just have a fairly basic scale set this to 100, actually if we set it to less than 100, something around 90, then we move forward by two frames, then we can set it back to 100. And this creates more of an impact, because it goes back in and then back out. I feel like that's too many frames in between, so just make it one frame. Just play around with the spacing of the keyframes, until you get something that you like. I'm also going to set all of these keyframes to being smooth. What this will do is it will have more of an ease in and ease out in between each of the keyframes. So now we have a graphic that starts out saying subscribe, then it expands, gets bigger, and then during this it changes it over to just saying subscribed. And it has a bit of a bounce at the end. I did this by shrinking it and then two frames later, taking it back up to full size. Something that would make this even better was some motion blur. So just select the motion blur icon on the layer. And now when we play this back, you see motion blur. If you wanted to have something clicking on it, say a mouse, then you'd just be animating a graphic or a image of a computer mouse hovering and also scaling at the same time. Here's an example that I made earlier. So as you can see the mouse comes in, it changes over to being the hand and then that shrinks as the subscribe expands and then while the subscribed shrinks the mouse expands. So it's an inverse of what the subscribe icon is doing. So these are like the basics that you can apply to any graphics that you're wanting to make. Quite a lot of it is just keyframing designing using different effects and the text tools and planes and images and then the other part is using techniques effectively to get the result that you really want and using these skills you can create any form of graphics so I've created one for a like I also created one for the notification bell this one uses more rotation and some masks to reveal the alarm lines that are either side of it. I also used another fill colour to change from the white to the grey because... and then on this one here I used a bulge effect to slowly reveal in the subscribe graphic and then as the mouse goes in there's then a very strong glow and then it switches over to a different coloured graphic. Once again these are the basics that you can use for whatever graphics you're wanting to create and I hope you found this useful and if you want more tutorials then please leave a like and subscribe and also hit that bell notification for a notification when I next upload. Goodbye.